Hi friends, today we are going to read four pages from My Rows and Piles of Coins. Look for how the narrator or the person who is telling the story, not the same as the author, the author is the one that writes it, the narrator is the person that tells the story, who's telling us the story. Let's figure out who he or she is. Let's start reading. It stopped raining in June, not long after school closed. Our harvest, fresh maize and peas, sweet potatoes, vegetables, and fruits was so big, we went to market on Saturdays and Wednesdays. My money box grew heavier and heavier. I emptied the box, arranged the coins in piles and the piles in rows. Then I counted the coins and thought about the bicycle that I would buy. A few days later, I grew confident enough to try to ride a loaded bicycle. With Murette's help, I strapped a giant pumpkin on the carrier behind me. When I attempted to pedal, the bicycle wobbled so dangerously that Murette, alongside me, had to grab it. All right, Saruni. The load is too heavy for you, he said, and I got off. Mounting the bicycle to ride back to the house, he sighed warily, and hard on my bones, which are getting too old for pedaling. I practiced daily with smaller loads, and slowly I learned to ride a loaded bicycle. No more pushing the squeaky old wheelbarrow, I thought. I would ride with my load tall and proud of my bicycle, just like Murette. Now, this is a fictional story. That means all the characters aren't real. But it sounds an awful lot like somebody that I can see here is telling the story. Think about that. Who is telling the story? On the first Saturday after school opened in July, we went to market as usual. Late in the afternoon, after selling all we had, Yeo sat talking with another trader. I set off into the crowd. I wore an old coat Mirette had handed down to me for chilly July days like today. My precious coins were wrapped in various bundles inside the oversized pockets of the coats. I must be the richest boy in the world, I thought, feeling like a king. I can buy anything. The tall, skinny man was polishing his bicycles as I came up. I want to buy a bicycle, I said, and brought out my bundles of coins. The man whistled in wonder as I unwrapped the money carefully on his table. How many coins have you got there? Proudly, I told him, three hundred and five. Three hundred and five, he muttered. Hmm, that's thirty shillings and five cents, fifty cents. He exploded with laughter. A whole bicycle for thirty shillings and fifty cents? His laugh followed me as I walked away with my bundles of coins, deeply disappointed. Before you move on to the choice learning, I want you to think about who you think, who you are going to predict is the narrator or the person who is telling the story. Think about that. I can't wait to see you for the next video. Bye.